Don't you hate when you forget to put your chin strap on and you have gloves on? How's it going, guys? We're out here at Mosquito Pass. Um, I'm down on Mosquito Gulch Road, is it called? And first, though, I'm going to check out the back way it goes up here and goes behind and up. Now, it says that it's still closed due to snow. Don't know the conditions, but I, I parked out of sight just because once I had a cop on the main part give me a, uh, a warning for parking. He claimed I was in the road, although I wasn't. And he was there, and I explained to him, and he goes, Yeah, you're really not in the road. That's why I gave you a warning, but you shouldn't be parked here. Just in case somebody with a big vehicle comes. Like, wow, okay. He's like, we just record your plate, and if it becomes a habit, then we give you a ticket. I was like, okay, cool, whatever. But, uh, so I came down here. It's nice, wide. And I'm going to check out the back route first because I'm down here. And then we're going to go check where the snow is on the normal route that way. And then we'll just go around and have some fun. So there is private property right next to this area. So you want to be mindful of that. Yeah, I figured I'd bring up the gas gas today. Figured it needs some love. Ah, I forgot to clean the uh, Climb Creos visor. <laughs> oh well. They're slow going on uh, the bouldery normal road, so. See how far I can get through the back route. Well, so far so good. But I do see snow way up there. So we'll see where this empties me out at. As far as I know, this is a forest service road. They run the donkey races this way for Leadville. So I'm not going to go off this road because, yeah, I know off this is private property. Yep, this is it. Nope, this was snowed in. Maybe if I had somebody else, could skirt around, but probably would have to come back. So backside is, backside's a no-go as you can see. Seems like there's a dirt bike and a side-by-side -side in front of me up here. Yeah, the biker has no idea I'm here. And then you head left. Usually cars are parked here. People hiking around or hiking up. Or hiking to see the water.
This has changed. It's a good arm pump, because it's rocky all the way up. Well guys, I made it to the mine. The snow's not that bad. It's gonna be melted before letting back. There's one little spot there, might be clear the rest of the way. I don't know. So we'll go take a look.
So far, so good. Okay, this is where the other road comes up. Right here. That's fine. Nope. This drift. Looks like somebody's been through on a motorcycle though. Man, I don't want to push, pull, or drag because this looks pretty deep. But I don't want to get in trouble where, you know, I can't get the bike out of there because that's, it's more uh, uphill than you think. Like coming downhill, yeah, that, that would be one thing. Somebody put something black down so that this would heat up and melt. This is pretty, uh, this is pretty solid. You can tell that that is a motorcycle print. Man, coming down wouldn't be a big deal. Now, the last thing I want to do is get stuck here and then have to slide the bike to the bottom of this. And then, uh, well, it's easy enough. It's flat down there, but. This is steeper than you think. This snow is really deep because it's as steep as that. Yep, that's where bike went. They spun and they, they were going downhill. So I'm guessing it's open from the other way. Yeah, downhill walking that wouldn't be so bad with the bike. But not only would I have to go this way, I would have to go back. Yeah, you can see they were right here. Back end slid there. They they got it. Boom. And then whatever reason they got stuck right there. <laughs> and I know that because it's not going forward and the print's coming from the other way. So they got stuck there. And then probably had to walk it out or something because I see footprints around there. The problem is, is this is a little padded down hiking spot. It might not be 100% where the road is. I mean, it could be some gnarly, gnarly stuff under here. Now, if it's only where we have to push bikes downhill for my lead and back, then we go the other way. Can we come back this way? For Jeeps, Mosquito Pass is definitely closed. For motorcycles right now, coming the right direction, or if you're a group and want to kind of push, push and pull, you can probably get over. But if you push and pull, I mean, you have to come back the other way too. So Downhill would be easier, because you have gravity working with you. But this stuff melts pretty fast, so that might be melted enough for lead and back. People keep saying record snowfalls, but then you come out here, and there's less snow now than there than I've seen in the past at this time, you know, in July. So let's try this side route. Just something to do. I'm here.
There's other nice little side roads here at Mosquito. A lot of people don't really ever take them. Good views, just good, nice areas. Oh, I think this is the deep water crossing. This one could be the deeper one. Yeah, I don't know if I want to. That's pretty cold water. 